we no longer need a convincing. In the process, we had experienced spiritual growth for ourselves. Our spirits were strengthened by our emerging integrity. The shaping of values, so essential to our character, was just one of the positive results we found in the process. Unlike the admission we made in the first step, which was made in desperation, the admission we made in step five was voluntary. This complete disclosure of our innermost selves, making up reservation, resulted in a breakthrough in our ability to accept ourselves and trust others. Our sponsored acceptance and our higher power unconditional love made it possible for us to judge ourselves less harshly. We develop a little more community with the awareness of the acceptance. share nature of our own. We began to understand that humility and self-loving are incompatible and can't exist at the same time. With our awareness of the exact nature of our growth, our character defects and the humility inherent in that awareness, our desire to change increase dramatically as we work step six. Though we may fail experience some affection without surrendering our character defects, we overcame our fear by dying on the trust and faith we had the well-off in a loving God. Trust and faith important elements of a spiritual awakening made it possible for us to become entirely ready to allow a power greater than ourselves to work in our lives. Consciously asking the God of our understanding to help us in step 7 was an important development in the awakening of our spirit. That request was tangible evidence of how much we had changed spiritually. This was the point where many of us began to sense the enormous difference that our higher power could make in our lives. Because we had asked for and been granted some freedom from coming to act on our shortcomings, we finally began to grasp what the miracle of recovery offered us. Carried along by the promise of continued freedom in our lives, we proceeded, in step 8, to make ourselves aware of what we had done to others in our active addiction. Again, we saw how the spiritual preparation of the previous steps made it possible for us to respect the pain and the mode of listening the people we have harmed. Our willingness to make amends to them all brought us further away from the grip of self-obsession. Our search for recovery was no longer focused on what we could get out of it for ourselves. We saw beyond the content of our own lives, and our efforts in recovery began to be more generous. We developed the ability to feel empathy for others. Once we had engaged in the process of making amends in the ninth step, we could see 
how it contributed to our spiritual growth. Our community was enhanced by our newfound appreciation of others' feelings. Our service in Kuolun with our increased capacity to forgive both ourselves and others. We were able to feel of ourselves. Most of all, we gained freedom. Freedom to live in the present and think that we belong to the world. The discipline we practiced in the land is not the shadow that we put in the blueprint to land into our awakening spirits. We went to the world in 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 the Now what? Super Ariel 